Expendables 3 is the final entry of the Expendables franchise. Barney Ross finds out his nemesis, Conrad Stonebanks, is still alive, so he assembles a younger team to take him out. I didn't go into this movie fresh. I went in kind of spoiled. I watched a few reviews, and I hastily visited the IMDb page a few times after it was leaked. The leakage and the rating killed this movie, okay? It drove people away. Rating at PG-13 was a huge mistake. It really killed the movie. It jammed a knife into its heart. Expendables 3 is the worst of the series. It's not a bad movie. It's fun but flawed. The action is fun but choppily edited. There's another huge flaw. The young team sucks. They're bland as chalk or dipsticks. The movie spends a lot of time and, well, nobody cares about them. We got our asses kicked by Ninja Turtles. Mel Gibson is great as a villain. He should play more villains. I'm sure he will. I know a lot of people feel the same way. Conrad's a fun villain. He is over the top. Not only that, we know why he's the kind of person he is. Having a gravelly voice certainly helps. Kiefer Sutherland was typecasted as villains. Antonio Banderas is a likable guy. He plays Galgo, a chatty Spanish soldier who really wants to join Barney's team. He's a funny guy. He can easily be annoying. He can annoy anybody. Chris Duckman compared him to Jar Jar Binks, and yeah, I can see why. Maybe a lot of people compared him to Jar Jar Binks. It'll be nice if he'll play Il Mirachi again. Harrison Ford rocks. Han Solo, Indiana Jones, they're iconic characters, man. He's a good replacement for Bruce Willis. He plays Max Drummer, CIA agent and helicopter pilot. He looks grumpy in this movie, and yet he looks happy in the advertising. Isn't that weird? Well, no, it's not weird. I heard Harrison himself say he had fun making this movie. That's cool. I'm glad he's playing Han Solo again. Expendables 3 gets a C. It's not a bad movie, but it's the worst of the series. Maybe the Blu-ray sales will be extremely high. Maybe Expendables 4 still has a minor chance? So tell me, have you seen Expendables 3? Did you like it or hate it? I want to quickly talk about Expendables 4. Dwayne Johnson really wants to play the villain. He doesn't want to play another buddy of Stallone. I think that's great. He'll make a great villain. Pierce Bronson has expressed interest also. Uh, I guess he doesn't care if he'll play a hero or a villain. He should play a villain. Expendables has inspired me to write an action story called Meth and Mercenaries. I made a quick vlog about it. I will write more stories. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you like this, you can click on Jack.